Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to paint a very simple sunflower and I'm using some brand new paints that um, I just got in the mail and I've swatched out and I'm excited to play with. And these are the Artsy watercolor set of 38 colors and it's this really weird, innovative fold-out palette. And I just thought it was kind of fun and um, I thought I'd, you know, see how they work today. I'll do a review on this after I have used it a bit and, um, you know, because I don't like to review things the first time I use them. I think that's kind of, um, that's kind of foolish because you don't exactly know how everything's going to play out, but we're going to try that today. I am not sketching on my paper and I'm using a piece of paper that's four inches by roughly eight and a quarter. And that's actually about how long this palette is. So I'll give you a little scale there. Now I am going to use this brush. This is the real reason I wanted to do today's video is that I found this brush at the craft store. This is a Princeton Select Pointed Filbert. And I thought it would be just kind of fun because usually you've got like a cat's tongue brush, which is shorter than this. And it's usually um, made with a softer hair. Uh, and it comes to a nice point and it carries a lot of paint. Or you've got an oval wash, which could be about this long and it has, you know, carries less paint, gives you nice rounded like edges or no brush marks. And this is kind of in the middle. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to try out. So what I'm gonna do here is I am going to load up my brush with a couple colors. I'm gonna start off with this kind of, um, uh, kind of Naples yellowy looking color. And then I'm gonna grab some of this, I'd say bright kind of cadmium yellow color. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of this you know, orangey color here on the tip. I didn't pre-activate these paints because um, they're, they were really saturated and they, um, ooh, look at that, and they just, <laughs> they were just very strong on their own, so I'm like, well, I don't think I really need to pre-saturate any of these. Maybe have a little bit more on the tip there. Now, because this is like a Taclon brush, it's not going to hold a ton of water, so I'm either going to want to spray my brush or maybe just put a little bit of water on my palette just to moisten it, because i got plenty of paint in there, but the water's kind of run out. And then I can just kind of throw in a few... strokes this way. Basically what I want to do is just get this impression of a um, of a sunflower that's just starting to open up. So I'm going to reload here. I'm going to try to get this lighter color all the way down the brush. It's watercolor so it's not going to hurt the ferrule. Then I think it was this yellow we used. Get that about halfway over that first color and then just tip it in that uh, that brighter color. Hope you're having a great October. Can you believe it's October 2nd already? It's crazy. What happened to September? I don't know. <laughs> it's gone. And just put a couple little petals in like that. I might add some more sunflower petals here, but I'm not sure. What I think I'm going to do now is do some of the little um, green kind of like hip petals there. And I'm going to grab this kind of um, olive green here. And also, I think I'll grab a little bit of this kind of more of like a hooker's green down here. The quality of this paint is really nice, I have to say. Uh, I think I'll start these kind of in a little bit closer. I need a little more water on that brush, I think. I do like this brush. It's, uh, I, it's um, not as, as absorbent as what I usually like, but I think that a lot of times with these um, golden Taclon brushes, the more you use them, the more it kind of like beats down the fibers and breaks the brush in, and then you get um, something that feels a little bit more natural. I've actually done like, I've actually kind of uh, broken in brushes before where I just kind of I've like hit them with like sandpaper before and just kind of worn down the bristles on purpose. I'm gonna turn this just so I can get it a little bit better of an angle. I do like the length of the bristles makes it possible to double and triple load your uh, brush kind of like you would if you were doing like one stroke painting or uh, other types of tall painting, rose modeling, things like that, which I think is fun to bring that into your watercolor because you can 
you know, have some fun with it. It's It gives you a different look than you would if you were using oils or acrylics. And it's just a nice way to make use of those techniques you might already know. Um, now I think, yeah, those first petals are pretty dry. I'm going to go ahead and put a few right on top. Kind of, I think I'll drag that tip up. Hopefully that's fully dry. It's such a damp, rainy day today. It's getting cold too. It's really starting to feel like like uh, winter is coming. Oh, we can get some really nice little uh, little delicate, dainty petals here. Like you can really get some definition on the tips. This looks really folky, doesn't it? It's not really what I was going for, but it's not bothering me. I think this would be really cute to do for a uh, a card or gift tag. Look at that little like detail you can get on the end. So this was a little pricey. This brush was regular ten dollars at um, AC Moore, and I used a coupon on it. And actually, when I bought it, I thought it was five dollars regular price because the regular number six filbert was like was like five fifty or something like that and I had a 60% off coupon so when it rang up it rang up at like four something I was like huh that's weird but then when I looked at my receipt it must have just been in the wrong slot because um this was in fact a ten dollar brush so I just wanted to let you know in case like your store miscategorized it um you know, and I don't know if it's because it's more expensive because of the length of the bristles or what, why it'd be more expensive than the number six of another style. But I just wanted to put that out there. Oh, I kind of wish I put the stem in a little bit earlier and put it in kind of like juicy because then everything could kind of flow. But that's all right. We can do that now. I just want to put a few little stems in here so I can throw a few leaves. The the uh, leaves on this sunflower are actually pretty small, which is a little strange, but I think it might be because uh, it's just opening up maybe. I'm adding some of that green in there and letting it flow. I might get a little back run, but I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, I'm going to reload my brush, grab this, the olive green, grab that bright green again, and this time I'm going to do my leaf, I'm going to start at the tip and then kind of press and wiggle and press and then bring it into the stem. Well, let's try it the other way and see how it looks when we go from the, uh, the stem. So up on the tip we're going to press. That gives you a really nice effect I think. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. It's going to be a real quick, quick video today. Um, uh, today's I'm gonna take it, Today kind of got away from me. The puppy has been very much needing my attention, so um, she's having a little snooze right now, and my daughter's just got home to watch her. But I think I'll need to go upstairs in a second and see how she's doing. She met a neighbor. They got to have a big, uh, big fun romp in the neighbor's backyard. Now she just wants to go see what the neighbor's doing. So she keeps sitting by the door, but she's a puppy. So I don't dare to like not take her out if she's sitting by the door. You know what I mean? I'm sure if you have a puppy, you know what I mean? And I feel like I just want a couple more little, little leaves up there. I was just feeling like that was just a little too, too stiff. This is a fun brush. I feel like I could just keep making, uh, making petals and turning this into a really just crazy whimsical flower instead of the uh, the sunflower it was meant to be. I think I'll put a few more sunflower blossom petals though. Maybe a little bit lighter. This color is really opaque, this kind of Naples yellow. Not super opaque, I mean I went over those lines and you can still see the lines, but you know definitely more opaque than, than other colors. Uh, I'll do a couple little longer ones up there. See how long do I want? I think. Oh, this is it's so satisfying to have a well loaded brush and to just like, you know, press it on that paper and, and make some marks. It's fun to tuck them in there too. It's like, I'm just going to sneak one right in here. 
my sunflower bud is going to go into like a fully bloomed sunflower before I'm done, I have a feeling. I just thought it was really kind of cool how the, the leaves were kind of bent over on the uh, reference photo I was looking at. I'll link that up. It's not going to really look, because this looks so stylized, it's not going to look completely like this. I like this brush though. Um, I'll try to link this brush up. I think they have it on Amazon. Um, the Princeton Select is the brand name. I guess you could even turn that into a chrysanthemum if you wanted to. Why not? It's your flower. You can do whatever the heck you want to. But there, I think that I'm just going to leave that be. Um, simple flower that you can paint in 10 minutes. How about that? Thank you so much for watching. I'll link all this stuff down below. I'll do a video review on this palette in a couple of weeks once I've used it a little bit more so you can... Um, uh, you can learn a little bit more about it. So far I like it. And there's the colors again if you want to see them. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, happy crafting!